Hello and welcome. This is Aces John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Now this tutorial was originally designed just to cover something called the drawing the navigation drawer, uh, adding that to your app. But once I got into it, I realized I really kind of needed to back up just a little bit and talk about the material design. Now, what is the material design? Android 5.0 API level 21 is the very beginning of the material design. Of course, there are some backwards compatibility things that you can do, and I'll be leaving links to that information below the uh, tutorial. Um, now, what is material design for developers? I'll be leaving a lot of links below so that you can follow and read up some further on this subject. Um, but it covers a lot of different issues actually, not all of which we'll be covering because the majority of this is going to be designed uh, to give you enough background and understanding so you can create, uh, as I said, the uh, navigation drawer. So some of the things that it covers is it allows you to manipulate the theme, uh, to create layouts um, using the material designer. Uh, to specify the elevation of your views to, that allows you to cast shadows, uh, to use system widgets for lists and cards, and to customize animations in your app. So there are a lot of things that you can do uh, with this relatively new material design system. So just be aware of that when we're going through this. All right, so the first thing I want you to like to do is to start a new Android Studio project. We're just going to start off and I'm going to call mine Material Design Drawer because that is the uh, actual goal for this short little uh, section of tutorials. Click Next. And we're going to use Appy 21 Android 5.0 Lollipop. Uh, now this does cut down the number of devices that are it's usable, but as I said, it is backwards compatible. Uh, there, I'm just not going to go through that. If you want to add uh, those to your apps, uh, it's fairly easy to do. Because of that issue, uh, there is an article here on Android Developer for maintaining compatibility and it allows you to uh, define alternative uh, layouts and styles uh, so that your app will be backwards compatible. And I will leave a link below uh, so that you could peruse that at your leisure. So next, and we're just going to create an empty activity because we're going to be adding certain things to it and then finish. So when it's finished building, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go to my design. Again, I'm turning it to light so that there won't be any surprises for everybody so I can all follow along. And this is just, you know, just a basic plain old hello world. And first thing I'm going to do is get rid of that. So uh, also don't forget to start your emulator so it'll be ready in the background to run when we want to test stuff. Okay, now a lot of this is just going to be simple copy and paste and I'll have all this on my website. Um, one of the secrets you may have been discovering is that uh, in order to be a good uh, app developer you really have to be, you know, able to have a whole backlog of things somewhere that you can copy and paste uh, in order to create what you want. and. Uh, not all of it is creating things from scratch. A lot of it is reusing the things that you have already created and uh, modifying them slightly. So let's get to that. Okay, in the next step, we're going to affect uh, and change three different files. Uh, the colors XML file, which should already have been created, but if it isn't, uh, you need to create a new colors XML file here in values. Uh, I'm going to change that to this. Now, this explains what this is, and this is our new color scheme basically. Uh, the color primary, color primary dark, text color primary, window background, navigation bar color, and color accent. And they pretty much are exactly what they sound like. Um, the only one that I'm unsure about is this color accent. And what I believe that to be is the it allows you to specify the color to use as a highlight when options are activated, which we won't be able to see with just the beginning because there won't be any options to highlight. Next, we'll turn to styles.xml. And again, I'll have all this code in my web page. This is the original code down here. And so you'll notice not a whole bunch has changed. Basically what we did 
is we added this uh, material, my material theme, which is the new theme that we've created, and uh, just added that here, and then added the window no title and the window action bar uh, uh, true and false here. So there's not a whole lot of changes here, but it does provide us with the style name. Next, we'll turn to the Android manifest because we have to change the style in the manifest as well. And I took out the uh, supports right to left, true, just because I don't need it in this app. So I just took it out. And uh, all I did was put in basically on this line. Uh, because that's that's our, our new theme. And that's what one we created. And so we want it in here. So that's it. And then you can run it and, and see how it works. But before we do that, I want to point out these little squares here. Now these are the colors that I've used. You can double click this and it'll bring up this menu right here and you can change it to any color you want if you want to create your own uh, color theme based on this so that's very handy to know so let's run it and so see. once we've got it running there's not really a whole bunch to see um, but you can tell that we do have green as indicated here our color primary uh, so this is the beginning of our uh, new uh, navigation drawer or just starting from the very ground and building up towards it.